This is your last workout for you. And for this one, you start with the jump soles on and start with the pole or some object that will help you stabilize. So your feet are going to be straight ahead and you're going to come up as high as you can onto the plugs and back down onto the heels. So stay on the plugs when you come up, so I'm right onto the plugs. Don't actually get up onto the edges of the jump sole. Okay? Come up and back down and make sure your knees are staying in line with your feet so they're not buckling in and your feet aren't starting to turn out. Okay? After that, you're going to come up onto the plugs and come side to side. So you're going to roll over the plugs and you're going to try and sync up your landing so they land together, side to side. Right? And if it starts to ever feel too easy, you can loosen your grip on the pole down to two fingers if you like. After that, you'll come back to the heels, circle in one direction, and then circle back in the other. So you see this circle, I'm pressing through the feet and I'm rotating it through my ankles, not through the knees or the hips. Alright? It's through the feet. Again, circling and circling back. That's really important to do it through the feet and nine knees. Alright, after that, this one's tricky. If you need to, you can use two poles or a wall. You're going to come up onto two feet. You're going to bring the right foot out and come down slowly onto the left heel. And then reset both feet. Hip distance apart. Come up onto the plugs. Left foot comes out and down slowly onto the right heel. And reset. All right? Don't do too many of those. As soon as you start really just wobbling and losing form, just move on. Right? From there, you're going to come out to about hip and a half distance apart. Feet turned out, you're going to balance on the plugs. The pole's right in the center. You're going to come to a quarter squat and hold, half squat and hold, three quarters and hold, press through the feet, and come back up. All right? Quarter squat hold, half squat hold, three quarters hold, press. And then if you'd like, just try a few with no pull, quarter squat hold, half squat hold, three quarters hold, press, and you're welcome to use your arms to help stabilize you at first. Just go for a few of those and move on. Right after that, we're going to do this new one that we didn't get to do when you were here in the studio. It's called straddle twist. So you're going to balance on the plugs. And I want you to think about twisting using coming from the knees, right? So think about your knees twisting you around, staying on the plugs in one direction, and then again twisting you back in the other direction. So as you twist, you hand the pull off to the other hand, and twist, hand the pull off. So I want you to try and stay as tall as you twist. I know it's a little tricky, but you don't want to be collapsing as you twist, stay tall do a few of those, right? From there, we're going to go into a lunge. So you're going to come out into a lunge. Make sure you balance on the back plug. It's easy for the edge of it to come down. Come back, switch hands, lunge, and come back. Switch hands, lunge. The knee is right over the second and third toe. It's not diving in, right? And lunge back. From there, we're going to go into 45 degree angle lunge. So you're going to step out about a 45 degree angle and lunge. My hips stay straight ahead. I'm not rotating, right? I'm just lunging out, putting 45 degree angle, pushing through the foot and coming back, switching hands on the floor. And then you move on to the side lunge, where you lunge to the side, and back, switch hands on the pole, lunge to the side, and back. So you want to try and stay on both plugs, again it's easy to come down on that plug, try and stay on it, and try your best to have your knee track over the second and third toe instead of having it dive in. Right? Finish this series with the lunge walk. Balance on both plugs. Be in a lunge position. You're going to walk straight through. Bring the legs straight through. Balance. Take a step straight through. Step
stabilize. Remember, this one's not about speed. Take your time, stabilize each step. Step straight through. Don't step up and down like that. All right? And then after that, you're all done with jump hold. Yeah, you know, 